doing normal content for months now because of this project that made me lose all my life. Anyways, I coded a Discord bot in 10 different programming languages including C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby and more. This video took me over 300 hours coding it and it's obvious that it's inspired by Danny by the way. So please subscribe, over 90% of you aren't so uh, yeah subscribe. Also by the way I will be resetting the token for the video, I know what you will do, I know what you're up to. <laughs> You don't know what the power of 10 is? It's just a bot that I'm working on, smashing right now, gaming lots of features like music and numbers. Anyways, our first problem is that I'm terrible at coding and I need to learn 10 of those. Yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare. I also decided to name the bot the power of 10 because I felt like it and when I feel like it, I don't know. So I don't even know 4 coding languages so I had to search top coding languages on Google and just search discord libraries. Boring, shut up nerd! So I started with Ruby mostly because I like its name, yup that's me. Now the thing is that Ruby is like Chinese but Rubyfied. Bruh, bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> so I just kind of followed some examples and saw a tutorial. So yeah, that was time that I'll never get back, I hate my life. So I decided to make some really basic commands and after a couple of hours of questioning my existence, we have a couple of commands. Invite, user, random, bold, italic and say. So that was pretty cool. I then made a discord server for testing, announcements and showcasing which will be in the description. Join my discord gamers, also join my main discord because it's pretty epic. So Ruby is done, now I assume this was gonna be really easy since Ruby took me only a day and I was drunk, oh my god I wanna die called the ball. And it was javascript next since I'm lazy and I hate my god dang life so I just coded some simple ban, kick, nuke and unban commands and later I tried to do a warrant command but I failed because I'm kind of a failure myself. So next up would be C++ until I realized how unnecessary that was because it's a terrible coding language, oh my god I hate it so much. So I switched it to C Sharp because if I want to do some game development in the future I would have some experience from this. So I followed a couple of episodes of a tutorial to get me going and Anyways, where were we? Oh yeah, so I followed a couple of episodes of a tutorial which I'm going to link in the description and understand the language a bit better. And I'm ready now to fly on my own. Because as my grandpa 1000 degree knife told me, tutorials are pretty badass, son. Yeah, he totally said that. Anyways, I made the information language because like every single command was info related. And I made a user info which tells you some things about your account. Commands which tells you all commands. Info which we don't talk about and the purge command because it totally fits all the other ones. After a couple of troubleshooting time to go to Java. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally fine. Yeah, no thanks, you're wrong. First I tried to implement Socobot by Polymars Dev in one of my features in Java, which went completely wrong. So then I tried some different things, watched some tutorials, followed some examples and nothing worked. Yeah, what the fuck? So then I took a break without realizing playing Minecraft Scott Block for the next week until I realized... Wait, that sucks. So after another week I fixed my terrible Java code and that's a lot of errors. Yeah. After a while I made six whole commands. Let me rephrase this. Six commands in two weeks with twelve bazillion ah! And that's why you don't pick Java, kids. It's terrible, please don't. I tried learning inheritance for a week and nothing happened and I hate Java so I'm not touching this again. So after 12 decades I finished them and here they are in action. Paste! Shows your text in the glorious haste bin. Paste! Shows your code in the glorious paste bin. <laughs> Instagram! Command that doesn't work but is supposed to show an Instagram user. Meme! Shows you an epic dank meme from reddit. Joke. Shows you an epic joke from reddit. <laughs> Ping. Shows you the bot's lag. That's, that's it. That's literally it. So next up is python. 
Can we all agree that Python sucks? It's so terrible. It doesn't even use the glorious semicolons that nobody knows what they do, but look really nice. So as always, I tried following a tutorial which went wrong, and I instantly stopped as there's no decent tutorial on YouTube since JavaScript is clearly superior to Python. Speedrun time! So I spent like a week speedrunning Carlson. Oh, you don't know what Carlson is? It's just a give that We're back on track, gamers. So I found a guessing game in the examples, copied it, changed some stuff, and added some more checks, and it's done. Now there's a guessing game. Then I took some code from the guessing game and made a pirate command which reads Python on a random number. And is it just me? Or is that Python command looking kind of thick? I got it working afterwards and it's pretty epic. Then I made a servers command which tells you how many servers the bot is in. And oh my god, this command is like cancer bot. Pythonic. I'm so good at explaining things. Anyways, after a couple of days I got it working and there's two things I wanna do. I do. A render and music. So I started working on music with a YouTube download module and made good progress. And then I got it working. I also made a dedicated server because my internet connection is terrible and it may lag. And now it's even less laggier than rhythm itself. So the last thing I need to do is a render, which is really hard, but with some help from my friend Diamond Ice I um borrowed some code from him and now we have a Morsu RTX vocoder to Gangsta's Paradise render thing with text. So I installed some more modules for Python and now we have a funk. No, this doesn't work. So it turns out I need image magic and after installing and uninstalling four versions of it, I managed to get it working. I also used MoviePy for the render which sucks so much. Pro tip, don't use MoviePy, use FFmpeg or something. Now we're finished with the nightmare called Python. We have every we have music, Python rated a whole RTX run. We have everything, okay? So that's the video gamers. Stay tuned for the part two where I'm going to be doing more coding languages. Please suggest more commands in the comments because I'm running out of ideas and join my Discord and the bots Discord again. So please subscribe. This video took ages to make and 90% of you aren't. Anyways, goodbye gamers, smash subscribe or smash. You